can't see a thing, Jim. Well, hold on. I swear, it's always some damn thing. Wait, got it. Ah, oh, hell, this thing ain't gonna hold. Shut up. Damn, you ugly. You girls strapped in nice and tight now. Hatter, your mama lady. Greetings, comrades, potentials, and scum, and welcome to a new Let's Get On With It, StarCraft, and its expansion, Brood War. Created by Blizzard and released for Windows on March 31st, 1998, StarCraft is one of the best-known real-time strategy games ever created. Even today, people still play it on Blizzard's free Battle.net service. Although I won't be taking you there to show you because, well, I'd rather not get my ass handed to me by a bunch of Asians. This game is of immense personal significance to me. I've been playing StarCraft off and on over the past 12 years, and for a time, my life revolved around playing it. I have never loved another game as much as this one. Never made as many friends any in any other game except for this one, and have certainly never played any other game. I've ever owned as much as I played this one. The personal growth I've had in this game benefits me even today, for there are folks I still talk to whose company I still enjoy, whom I met on this game close to 10 years ago. For that, despite my current feelings towards Activision Blizzard, I will forever remain thankful to Blizzard for the creation of this game. Now in this Let's Get On With It, I plan on taking you, the viewer, through all six campaigns. This is an incredibly ambitious project for me as I am quite rusty at the game and I'm pretty shaky on my individual mission knowledge. I do stand a chance of getting my ass handed to me into later missions while talking to you folks. If that happens, I'll think of a solution on the spot, but I should be more than capable of handling these first missions without any practice. Especially since I think I'm only going to be able to fit the tutorial in this video. Anyway, what are we waiting for, for? For. What are we waiting for, folks? Let's get on with it. So, here we go. We have our first three episodes for the original campaign. Terran, Zerg, and Protoss. Protoss? Protoss? I say Protoss. Yeah, I'm sure you'll have fun listening to some of my name pronunciations as we go through this. We shall be completing these in order, even though I can't say I'm a big fan of the Terrans. My favorite race is Zerg, for reasons which I'm sure I'll share with you later. So, let's kick it on with Terran. Uh, if you want to read that, uh, you can go ahead and pause. I'm going to skip through this, this reading text to save time in the videos. 
Here's the briefing. Welcome to Lord Sara, Magistrate. The equipment demonstration you requested is prepared and may be initiated at your convenience. Simply select Start to begin the demonstration. You may skip the demonstration by selecting Skip Tutorial. We won't. All right, let's go. Yes, yes, I don't need tips. What I do need is speed. And what I also need, mission objectives, three supply depots, refinery, 100 best paying gas. Go through a quick tutorial here. I want to get through actually playing this game, so I'll talk about it as I go. Uh, StarCraft, like other real-time strategy games, involves resources. You have your minerals here, mineral crystals, which you will collect from these clusters. You also have this pain gas, which is much rare, and you will collect uh, by building refineries on special this pain geysers. Over there is a supply count showing uh, how much current supply I'm using and the maximum I support. Supply depots increase that. Refinery is for gas, and of course they expect me to collect 100 best paying gas. The T280 SCB uh -huh. is the cornerstone something I forgot of to do. hostile environment construction and no. resource gathering operations. I want subtitles. And we're going to be cranking that down. As good as the music is, Roger that. probably going to interfere. In order to build a thriving colony, numerous SCVs are yeah. necessary. You can build additional SCVs at a command center. I know I can, bitch. I know how to play this game. One nifty ability about the Terrans, this is one of the first races we're using, is that some of their major structures have the ability to lift off and re-land on spots. This allows the command carrier, for instance, to be much closer to collecting, you know, minerals for fun, of course. These are Marines, the basic infantry unit for Terrans. They have a ranged attack. There's their wireframe. Ah, shit. Ah, uh, In order to equip additional personnel, you must have enough supply depots to support them. I need to turn on my mouse SCVs lock here. You can use SCVs to build additional supply depots. I know I can. Look what's happening right now, bitch. Meantime, I know there are some little zerglings around this map somewhere. You might ask me what the hell's a zergling. I'll show it to you. Show it to you. Permission to speak freely, sir. Sure. I'm not sure you know what you're doing. Excuse me, motherfucker. I will fucking beat the shit out of you. But if you want us to ignore enemy fire and go exactly to the spot you targeted, then use the move command. Now, which will it be? SCB, good to go, sir. It'll be, I'm gonna motherfucking kill you. That's what the fuck it's gonna be. Building some SCVs. What do I need? Let's take a look again. Three supply depot. <laughs> three supply supply depots, refinery, and one hundred Vespain gas. Huh? Fucking SCB, good to go, sir. Not Kinda else. broke. <laughs> Roger that. I shall wait him there because I can. Meanwhile, Checked up and good to go. see if I can find some Zerglings. Well, he died too fast to select. My bad. Zerglings are the basic attack unit for the Zerg. One of the other two races in the game. The Zerg are the primary threat for basically everybody. So while you will fight Protoss with the Terran, and you will even fight other Terrans, your biggest threat is the Zerg. Zerglings, as you can see, have uh, no range attack. They are very small, quite fast, and, you know, there you go. In numbers, they pack quite a punch, I assure you. I'm going to use shift attack points to give them some waypoints to have fun, to show you some more combat in action while I tell these... SCVs here and get to work getting me some gas. Because I need some of that to complete the mission. And it also seems I'm going to be a tad short on time for completing this. You can see a wireframe there. Uh sorry. <laughs> All my chatter or whatnot, I'm sure. Maybe. Actually. If he can build that in time, I'll be good to go, right as rain. 
Maybe I can actually avoid... Well, never mind. I want to avoid losing a Marine. For the record, in regular StarCraft, there's... Oh, I probably need to turn down the sound as well. I'll work on that next video, folks. Um, sounds for... Actually, I'll do that now. So that I'm easier to hear and whatnot. Anyway, I was going to... I guess I'll finish that thought next video. Because we are finished. Huzzah. Thank you for watching, viewers. See you next time, I hope, on Let's Get On With It, Star.